Well, Stephen Murray on his way back to St. Johns County, Florida. He was spotted, investigators say, on Wednesday in Aiken County driving the priest's car. It took law enforcement several hours to finally track him down and bring him into custody. News Channel 6's Ashley Campbell is joining us now with new information on how deputies were able to catch their suspect. Brian, I spoke with a woman today who tells me she almost came face to face with Stephen Murray, but instead immediately dialed 911. It was a manhunt that lasted for more than six hours, the search and capture of Stephen Murray. He was arrested early Thursday morning in Aiken County. We've seen where all the police was around, and um, we've seen it on the Internet and TV about they were on a manhunt looking for a guy, and they were searching also for a missing priest that he was involved with. Little did Sandra know that the manhunt would soon reach a little too close to home. We heard a knock on the door, and it was like a little after 12, you know. We weren't expecting nobody else. That's when Sandra tells me she felt something yeah. wasn't right. So I looked out the window, and when I looked out the window, he was standing on the front porch trying to get in. He even said, let me in. He, was, he wanted us to let him in. He was Murray, running from deputies and looking for a place to hide. But Sandra said it wasn't about to be her home where he sought refuge from the red and blue lights. I told my husband, I said, do not let him in. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I called the police and my husband and my friend, they came outside to see if maybe they could help, but he, had, he was already gone. It took them no, the police no time to get down here, and then 10 minutes later they had him. Although shaken up, Sandra says she was thankful it was her and her husband who were home Wednesday night as Murray tried to get in. Just imagine that your grandmother's here, your kids are here, a knock on the door. Yeah, they probably would have opened the door, not thinking about it. So I'm just glad that we were here. And even more happy that Murray is now behind bars. Murray is currently already facing aggravated fleeing and attempting to elude officers. Investigators do suspect foul play and they do plan on questioning Murray even further once deputies arrive with him. And of course, we're going to keep you updated with any new developments in this case. Brad, Kim.